Welcome back to the 360 Traveler and uh, I'm here in one bridge, uh, whatever street, one new bridge road and I just bought a couple of things I'm gonna show you uh, and I'm just about to get back home okay so basically what we got here and I entered this building and honestly I didn't want to film inside anyway the Insta360 1R is a great camera, but in low light, should be better. So anyway, that's what I bought. The microphone, blah, 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 Blick 500, Saramonic B2, the white one. So we've got it here. And I was really thinking for a while, should I get a, the black one or the white one? Because inside, like inside the package, it looks like a little bit too pharmaceutical uh, like hospital like whatever uh, yeah like my dad which is a doctor could actually use this for uh, I mean it just looks like yeah like some kind of tool for uh, doctors uh, anyway so oh it's already open no it's closed right so I don't want to open it now actually so I don't want to I feel a bit too lazy to learn how to use it now and stuff. Maybe the batteries are not even full. Uh, so I'm not gonna use it now. On the way back, I'm just gonna use uh, just my camera and just the, the microphone of the camera. So I'm, I'm, I'm still gonna wait to be back home to learn how this thing works and uh, get to use it back home, okay? The second great thing I bought for exactly the same price, 239 uh, Singapore dollars. That's $239, that's $239, that's about 150 euro, 170 US dollars, something of the kind. So this thing is a controller for video editing, photography editing, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's great, it's a bit heavy. Uh, it's still inside the box, I'm not gonna open it either. I will unbox it later on, when I'll be back home. Anyway, so. Here we go, that's gonna be able to get in my bag right there. So that's a tool, it's it's a fun name too, it's called the Toolbox. And then I got a $20 huge tripod. I thought it'd be smaller and honestly, as you can see, I'm just gonna take a picture of the box before I throw it away. Because that's what I normally do. So here we go. Uh, 800 grams. I like the the length, the height. I mean, it's one meter point thirty five, which is not that small. It can hold three kilos, so uh, it's very good for my Panasonic camera. And uh, basically, you know what? I'm just gonna throw the box in this rubbish bin here. Um, and yeah, and I'll already open it to be honest. So. I, I have taken this outside of the thing and you can see it's it seems pretty good I mean I'm not gonna try it right here on might maybe I should I mean that that's the thing I can actually try out yeah in front of everybody what the heck people can always see me with a camera on my head so it doesn't really matter at this stage uh, but you know, it's, it's a very poor quality, yes, but it's still better than what I do have right now. Uh, I have some sort of like tripod, uh, selfie stick, which is just not working anymore. Uh, it's very hard to keep it up. It just keeps on going down. And, uh, I'm like, there's this whole part which is supposed to go up. How do I make it go up? Oh, right, like that. Okay, so here you go. So this is not the best, but for 20 bucks, you know, like 13 euro, like it's, I think it's really good. It's really good for the price. It's really light. I'm pretty happy with that. Look at that. I thought 800 grams will feel more heavy, but it's really light. It's pretty high. So it's pretty much uh, high length, 
I can have my camera right here. I can film myself right here. So, um, wow, I'm pretty happy I found this one. Sometimes you keep on browsing on uh, Carousel and you see some stuff which are okay, but maybe not exactly as okay as you expect them to be. And this one is like, yeah. The cheapest other one I saw, which didn't seem mind-blowing, was like $30. And I was like, it was lower than this one. It was like 1.2 meter. And 1.2 meter is a bit low. Um, if you're 1 meter 50, maybe it's okay. But if you're like almost 180, like I am, it's a bit low. So this one was like 135. I thought, okay, that would be kind of perfect. And um, it actually happens to be. So far, so good. That's a good investment too. I think because um, I was, I saw their page on Carousel, and uh, sorry, this is my underwear. <laughs> I thought I would stop by. Um, I would stop by. Damn, it doesn't fit my bag. This thing, you know. It's like, is it gonna fit my bag or not? Can I just? So I thought I would stop by. Uh, what's the name? Boogies on the way back, but I think I'm just gonna go home and have uh, lunch and I go to Boogies to buy a new pair of shorts uh, next time because I just want to go home now <clears throat> basically okay so that's the most important piece that's why I was checking their uh, page on carousel they sell a bunch of different things on carousel you can buy things secondhand uh, new and this is one of his uh, page where you can buy things new they were very nice uh, they give me a receipt as you could see uh, This sell Basically, it's a wholesaler, right? So Sometimes we do sell. Oh, okay. I didn't even put it in the bag So everything fits in my bag. That's great And I'm just gonna have to throw this thing away And so Yeah, so I mean I I was browsing the page because I'm, I'm like I'm going to their place to get something. I might as well just check if I need anything else from them. And that's how I found the toolbox tool, which uh, will greatly improve my video, video editing uh, workflow. So, all right, so we're gonna get rid of this one. Obviously, I don't need it. Here we go. And actually, I close this one. Oh, wait. So. I didn't, I didn't think about putting my hair down. I'm going to actually check if this is still running. And how long it's been. Eight minutes already. Oh, my God. That's going to be a very long video, actually. Okay. But you know what? I... Damn. I'm gonna damage these lenses that keep on bumping into stuff. Okay. I could create a new video now, but I don't wanna have to upload three different videos. It's just too many. Uh, so, you know, this this video will probably be as long as the, the last one, which was like 20 minutes something. You know what, I'm gonna put this thing again in my bag and I will stop this video once I will have reached my favorite uh, hawker place for lunch I will take some uh, vegetables and I didn't finish my uh, chicken yesterday and uh, so I will eat my vegetables with the chicken and maybe something else but in the meantime, I'm just gonna film all the way there. And uh, yeah, basically that's it. Now I'm just gonna take it off and it's gonna be easier to listen to me and it's gonna be easier to bike. Because, gosh. All right, so I might just put um, destination here, city square. City Square Mall, 2.5 kilometers, and uh, we get, yeah, we get away here, which is pretty easy to follow. Um, 
all right so basically I'm gonna get on the main way right there yeah and this should be 3.5 kilometers okay that that should be pretty quick rich probably in 10 15 minutes I should be there maybe more like 15 uh, plus the nine minutes now that this video has been running so that should be not more than yeah same as the one way so uh, 25 minutes video oh yeah remember like just over there I was staying in a hostel before months ago six months ago you know and uh, it's a pretty nice spot just right over there I didn't know I was right here actually I was in the Hong, in the Hong Kong streets this is like literally downtown uh, okay I okay I thought I had time but I didn't but what do we do now okay you know what let's go on a pedestrian road right here because that's what we got let's just go on the sidewalk yeah oh I love this little bicycle guys I love it It's green, right? I don't know. I just become colorblind just for a while. Every time I have to cross the street, I become colorblind. Okay, that's a that's a shitty joke, but well, I'm not. I'm not the only one for sure. Mmm, smells so good. You know, I've been doing keto diet for two weeks now, and a bit more than two weeks. And, uh... Thank you. And, uh... Yeah, it's been fun, but sometimes when I pass in front of uh, places like that, as long as I'm still, as I'm still like, uh, kind of... And introvert a social I don't go out too, too much then it's easy to just do keto diet because you can just eat your own diet stick to it but whenever you actually have to socialize and uh, meet people and blah 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 you know uh, and go to bars and go to cafes and go to restaurants and just eat eat and drink with other people then it becomes way more tricky. I mean, actually two weeks ago, I had this date, um, and uh, well, I just right before I started keto, I mean like, it was like a Friday, and I was like, okay, anyway, I was like, I think it was like the 11th of September, yeah, and I wanted to, or the 12th, and I wanted to start keto right on this date, I was like, okay, it's a bit grim, I guess, to start on a, uh, 11th of September, I was like, okay, but at least I will remember when I started to do keto, if it's 11. And I was like, I went on this date, and we went to this nice restaurant. Uh, well, nice, just like this Thai restaurant. And then I ordered some um, noodles, you know, and I was like, okay, apparently I'm not going to start keto today. And then after that, uh, I had the milk tea, I was like, okay, uh, the girl that uh, we go my went there, she was like, okay, you should try the milk tea. So I tried the milk tea, and then I had a cup of wines. So yeah, at the end of the day, I couldn't do the keto diet at all. You know, so uh, I just decided that I would start on the next Monday, which was the 14th of September, two weeks ago now. Let's see, you know what? I'm gonna take the pedestrian, uh, the sidewalk. I don't know why I keep on talking, calling it, calling it, uh, calling it the pedestrian or whatever. But 
and now I'm gonna take a way which I have been taking before uh, which is one of my favorite way but this time I'm not gonna get lost because what happened last time is that I got lost and uh, today I'm speaking loud loudly because well basically I just want to make sure that people hear me you know so I was like oh am I being Lego here okay I'm not supposed to wear a mask because I'm cycling I can cycle on the on the sidewalk okay everything is fine because if you ask me for my documents I don't actually have any with me I just have a photo of my passport somewhere maybe uh, you know, I would tend to uh, cross the street on the red light, but obviously I'm waiting now because the guys, the police is still over there. But yeah. Yeah. Tick, 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 tick. Come on. What's the fucking point right now? Okay. I mean, the guys might be looking at me. I mean, it's not gonna bother me even if I go on the red light. I mean, I guess, but and they are like walking anyway, and I'm uh, I'm much faster than them on uh, like when I'm cycling. And this shit's gonna turn red. I'm gonna it's gonna turn. I mean, it's gonna green, and then when our light will still be red. Okay, they're gone. But now we're at this stage where in like. What is what is gonna turn uh, green first? Okay, they t they just turn green first. All right. Cause that's one other thing that you know I didn't want, I didn't wait any any longer there. So anyway, if you've seen one of my last videos, you probably saw that. Now, not the camera. You cannot really see my face, maybe because I got the camera right with the the head strap right there. But at least you can see this better. And uh, so we get a, a bit of a different point of view here. Uh, next time I'm gonna use my great new little microphone. So even the sound will be better, will be improved. What I did last time was going over there. So uh, I'm gonna make it a little different. Uh, just sticking to uh, the main road. And you know what happened last time? I got lost. You probably know if you've seen the video. So, and if you uh, wanna check the videos, that was uh, basically going from City Hall to Flower Park. So it's one of the videos that I made in September. So, you know. Here you go. Anyway, you got like a building like that, which is amazing. I mean, look at that. Look at that. There's not so many places in Asia with incredible buildings like that. You know? And I look pretty funny because, damn, I look funny now. Because I got like my hair. I don't know if they like workers, people working on the other side. But anyway, um... Oh, that's the Princep Street. I've seen a shop that was selling stuff also in this street. And basically, all right, that's the way. That's the way here. This this thing is like absolutely amazing. You get like these gardens. I mean, it's not, they're not gardens. It's just like this plants all over the place there, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool, you know? Really makes me wanna become a bit of a traveling blogger, a vlogger, because now that I do have like a couple of good cameras, uh, it makes things easier, and now that I'm realizing that I, I can just like keep on speaking, uh, without basically stopping much, although normally I wouldn't be that talkative, uh, it really makes me think that why not, why not just, you know, Rub my 360 camera on my head, uh, or just like attach it on my bicycle, or wherever it is that I can attach it and make it stable, and just keep on talking. Uh, just start my microphone. 
and you know just let's do this but what I'm the most worried about is like when I want to when I want to cross you know when the, the traffic light is red and you gotta wait for a couple of minutes and you gotta keep on, on speaking and speaking because uh, the viewer might just get bored then gosh cute so that's when basically I'm like wow all right you guys are gonna have to uh, hold tight because not much is gonna happen right now unless I can still find things to say and stuff and you know this kind of filming that I'm doing now you know uh, well on one hand I'm speaking about different stuff and on the other hand I'm basically just you know like this part is pretty nice it's boss over there and stuff and this Indian girl is like so damn cute which is kind of young too um, so yeah if I'd go here and hang out and have a beer then what's gonna happen you know can I keep on being on, on the keto diet I don't know because basically the keto diet is not it's not so friendly when it comes to when it comes to uh, to uh, just like having a social life you know um, all right, so basically I never take this street over here, so it's better if I do take it this time because, well, <laughs> you can get to see something else. Uh, and I can get to see something else too. So, uh, you know, kill two birds with the same stone. Yup. Okay. And uh, here we go. We get a... Is that a church or what? <laughs> it looks like a church. Oh, that's the Suntec building? I don't know if we have a second-hand uh, camera shop here. Or maybe it's not second-hand, but anyway, something of the kind. So we're going to, I don't know. You know, finally now, and I know I, I keep on repeating it, but finally now I get to uh, experience and, uh, and see a little bit of the city. Uh, after having sp spent like six months here and uh, I think cycling is kind of the perfect um, just um, transportation system because well I get to smell the plants how exciting is that I mean maybe for you you guys not so much but actually it is pretty cool you know it is pretty cool um, I could have gotten if electric bicycle, uh, electric scooters were still allowed here, which they are not. I could have uh, bought, and that was my original plan, just to get like an electric scooter. Um, but yeah, they've, be, they've been banned last November, so uh, it's been almost a year since they have been banned, and. Uh, that's why I cannot. Oh, she looked at me. I mean, like, it doesn't mean she liked me, but she looked at me like, what is this guy doing here? She definitely didn't look at me. Okay, uh, wait. I want to show you guys this building because I think it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a college of arts. Well, let me show you that. I think that's where my friend, Jolene, yeah, I know I got a camera strapped on my, on my head. So look at that. It's like, look at fucking impressive that is. I remember when I was got here in early 2018, so it's been like more than two and a half years ago, going three years. I can't believe it's been that long. So when I first got here in Singapore, I got here in Singapore and I flew to Chiang Mai. Oh gosh, I miss Thailand. I hope I, I'm gonna be able to go to Thailand. I'm not gonna digress again. But anyway, to get back to it. Um, I first flew to Singapore. I, I flew like from France to, uh, from Marseille to Rome. Then 
from Rome to Athens, Athens in Greece, and then from uh, Athens to Singapore, and then from Singapore to Chiang Mai. Because, yeah, when you're a budget traveler, you're looking for the cheapest flights, and that's how it went. And I got to visit Athens for a couple of days and stuff, and then I, I got to stay in Singapore for a few days before to fly to Thailand. And basically, yeah, uh, there was this meetup meeting right here in a cafe over there. So yeah, I got to see this place. And then after we uh, walked around with Jolene and my, my friend in Singapore, and uh, I think that's the one. I think she told me that she used to study here. But yeah, so um, yeah, here we go. So that's basically what we got here is uh, Sim Lim Mall. So that's where I used to buy some electronic stuff or just check out some electronic stuff. But it's very much kind of like scammy place where they would kind of like overcharge you uh, for whatever you know item you want to buy. They're just gonna like overcharge you charge you way more than the bus to so um, yeah then this local guy told me about a different place to buy electronic stuff that I forgot I forgot the name I forgot but uh, should be quite easy to find anyway anyway so I'm almost back to uh, the Leeds of India MRT and really, it's a it's it's a shame because I, I have this great camera in my uh, this great uh, sound system microphone in my bag, but I, I'm not using it right now. I'm just not using it, so I still hope that this, the sound will be quite okay. It's a bit stressful here because the cars are going very close, but. I can see that it's gonna turn red in a few seconds. So, good for us, we're gonna be able to turn right. You're like, why is it saying good for us? You know how much I hit uh, red light, it's like saying good for us. Yeah, because we're turning. That's when we're turning now. Uh, so, on my street, there's a lot of uh, constrictions right now going on. And, uh, well, well. Let's see if I can just find my way through the traffic. And with a tiny bicycle like that, should be quite okay. Uh, yeah, should be fine. I don't know if I'm sticking on the right or on the left. I think for now we'll stick on the right and then cross later on because I don't want to bust this to, I don't want to bust to uh, just run me over. So that's why, oh no, no, what am I saying? Of course on the right because I have to stop to get my lunch. So yeah, I'm gonna stop at, uh, the, the hawker where I normally go I had an argument with the one of the worker there because he's been oh whenever he has to uh, to serve me he always does it super slow because he doesn't like me because he was jealous because I was dating somebody that I met I met there and then after that uh, he has a girlfriend but he just became like very jealous I guess so that's why he was uh, always like serving me super slow and uh, last time it was just too much to take he was like so slow that I'm like okay dude faster man I was I lost my temper a bit then and he was like oh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna serve you anymore and I'm like fuck off <laughs> anyway uh, you gotta try that dude. He's a little Chinese dude, I mean things like 
I don't want to. I don't want to fight this bitch. I mean, especially there because otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to.